vacation. Just the word might bring to mind white sandy beaches. Or a hike through a tropical rainforest. Well, while the ideal vacation for a dream getaway differs from person to person, there is one thing we can agree on. Vacations are best when you get a good deal. Yeah, car rentals can really take a bite out of your budget, but you don't have to wait at the car counter to find a good deal. In this special report, Aaron Luna takes a look at the cost of renting a car from another person, what to watch for, and when a rental car company might be the better bet. You did it. You convinced the family to pick a vacation spot that everyone loves. Now you got to figure out how you're going to get around. You check the rental car companies, and now you're thinking maybe it's the Motel 6 instead of the Four Seasons. Well, wait, don't give up on that dream of a shower with four directional nozzles just quite yet. I'm a mom on a budget. I'm looking for, I'm looking for the, the best deal. And aren't we all? Yeah. Allie Himes knows a thing or two about renting cars for family vacations. It's like Airbnb for cars. She's talking about Turo. Instead of renting from a car company, you rent a car from a person. Both times when I went with the Turo option, it was a cheaper option. Peer-to-peer -peer car sharing platforms like Turo let you browse specific cars owned by real people, which is nice when you need something special that fits seven people unless you want to do a minivan, but rolling around in a minivan and a bachelorette party ain't going to work. So we got a Lincoln Navigator. Daniel Almaraz also uses Turo. He likes how the app lets you pick up the car where you need it. A lot of times for him, that's the airport. And it's like you're just coming to your own car and leaving and getting on your way after a long flight. Time spent getting to his destination instead of waiting in line at the car counter. And he did get a better deal. Uh, I was saving about $15 a day. Keep in mind, Turo does have fees just like car rental companies. There's a pet fee. There's a young driver fee. You can also have a Turo trip fee. And if you're a real messy person, you could run into a cleaning fee. Also, keep in mind that when you're renting from Turo, you're actually renting from a person. It was rented through Hector. He's had 80 trips. He's got a 4.9 star. So it's like it really does work just like Airbnb, right? Another thing to keep in mind with Turo style car rentals. You're not going to be able to just drive it from here and then leave it here. You have to bring it back to point B or to point A. And if you need a long-term rental. So, yeah. I think the rental companies actually have better deals for weekly rentals than Turo does. Whether you're a mom on a budget or bachelorette party bound, when it comes to saving money, apps like Turo give you options. Here's how much the trip price was. It was $111 for a day for a Lincoln Navigator. That's pretty good, pretty right? Good. I did check prices for car rentals here in Spokane and Turo was not the least expensive option. I looked at other cities and I found that the bigger the city, the more options you have for better prices. In Spokane, I'm Aaron Luna, 4 News Now.